morning guys I wanted to show you how I use my daily pages of the daily intent journal and planner so here we go it is Thursday December what's today 15th so then I'll usually write what I'm grateful for and to be honest, it's usually the same things, but I don't think that really matters. So I usually write that I'm grateful for my loved ones and their health, my job, my boyfriend, and the animals. So how do I want to grow and intentions for these areas for the day? For health, I usually put drink two liters of water. I feel like I'm getting better at drinking water, so maybe eventually I'll be able to put three. And Matt and I are also going to try to start doing yoga at night. So he just got a yoga mat and we're gonna try to start that tonight. So I'm gonna put do 30 minutes of yoga. Emotional. I usually put respond rather than react. To me that just means before doing something in reaction to something else, stopping and thinking and thoughtfully responding. So spiritual, I haven't really been meditating lately, but I'm gonna put, take time throughout the day to be present. That's also where I would usually put meditate for a certain amount of time. Like I said, I haven't really been doing that. Okay, family, relationships, community. So for family, I think I'm gonna put text dad. I haven't talked to him in a few days. Relationships, I like to say be kind, calm, and loving. And for community, I joined a group of women who are interested in learning more about legislation and how it's just to be more helpful citizens. So I have um, an event that I'm trying to organize people to go to this weekend, so I'm going to put work on that. And then business, professional, financial. While YouTube isn't really a business, I try to think of it as one, even though you might have realized I haven't been making videos this past month really, but um, I don't make any money off of YouTube, obviously. I don't even monetize my videos because I think it's annoying, but um, this is where I usually put my YouTube projects or like the blog projects or the journal projects. I'll just put it in here. So for business, film journal video, which is what I'm doing now, and I have to film this second part, which is the reflection and successes tonight. So let's see, did I leave anything out? So that's like the outline for what I want my day to be like. Over here in the schedule part is where I will kind of pencil or pen where I will write in anything that can be written in. So like, what time is it? 8.30, here's eight o'clock, so 8.30 is this one. I'm gonna write upload footage, that's this. I'm gonna write oh, journal, and then let's see, at nine o'clock, I'm gonna edit, and I'm gonna do a little bit of reading. Oh, wait a second, yeah, read online try to organize that event. These things shouldn't take very long and if I don't finish the editing today I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. Um, and then around 9.30 I'm gonna get ready for the day, fix up my hair a little bit. I don't know how long that's gonna take me but I usually watch like YouTube while I'm doing it. And then I'll pack my lunch and leave for work. Work at 12 to seven. When I get home, we're gonna do yoga. 
and then have dinner. I don't know what we're gonna have. I didn't plan this week, <laughs> um, but we have lots of veggies. We could probably roast them in the oven while we do yoga. And then I'm gonna try to be in bed by 9.30 and I can read and hopefully sleep by 10.30. So this is how I use the journal on a daily basis and I've been trying to really use this reflection section more. To be honest, I find the journal to be quite effective even without reflecting on this. I don't know, I guess I just appreciate having somewhere to spill all the ideas for the day and kind of organize them. But I'll film going through you know, how the day went, as well as filling in tomorrow's two most valued items to complete. And so this side, I will use for journaling, free journaling. Um, I will use for planning out the week, if it's Sunday or Monday. Um, yesterday I used it to, to write in information about calling my representatives and senators about a specific issue. The other day I used this section because I was opening up um, an account with a credit union rather than, like I'm trying to switch from PNC Bank, which is corporate monstrosity, to um, a more local credit union. So I was writing down all the information about the accounts and stuff um, in this section. I really find these two pages to be like the meat and potatoes, or should I say the potatoes and potatoes of the journal. I will be making a video about using the budgeting section and the meal planning section as well. So I hope that you found this useful and let me know if you have any questions or comments and I'll see you soon. So like I said I would do, I sat down to reflect on my day using the reflection column in the journal. So my goal was to drink two liters of water and I pretty much did that. My other goal was to do 30 minutes of yoga, and we did 20, but I'll count it as a win. Um, I responded rather than reacted. I took time to be present throughout the day. I texted my dad. I was kind. I, oh, I organized that. Uh, I organized going to an event with that group I joined and I worked on this video and for tomorrow I planned on editing this video and also planning the weekend as far as projects and things I wanted to do. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.